don't know. Guys, we have another one. Another one. Now, look, okay, yeah, this isn't, like, groundbreaking zero-day research that's going to get 100,000 upvotes on our net sec. However, this is something that I think is super underrated. Like, if you're a red teamer or a pin tester, this is something that's so easy to do, and you may actually find some, like, insane credentials or an insane API key or connection string or something. Like, it's, it's actually mind-blowing how smart this is to check. So... What I'm talking about here is looking into the app data directory of Notepad++. And I actually made something similar back in June when I was talking about, hey, look, Microsoft Teams messages actually will store some information down in the app data of that computer. So if you have admin access to a machine and it that machine belongs to like a developer or an IT guy, you might be able to go through and like read their Teams messages just by having access to app data without even needing like an Office 365 password. That's kind of like what we're talking about here, except with Notepad++. So let's, let's demonstrate this real quick. Let me copy this path just so I've got it, in case we ever need it. But if I minimize this guy, what we're talking about is in Notepad++, you have this right here, right? And if you're a Notepad++ user, like most of us are, you probably oftentimes just do, okay, I'm gonna make a new Notepad here, I'm going to type out some notes and then you like forget about it, right? And you move on and throughout your day, you might copy something and paste it in there, copy something, paste it in there, but you never get around to actually saving the file. And notice how you can just close Notepad++ and if you go and you open it back up later, you're right back where you left off. So nothing was ever saved, right? So you're not really storing credentials. You just never not save them. <laughs> I don't know if that makes any sense. You know, so what I did here is I simulated a bunch of just, you know, here's a, a notepad tab, here's a notepad tab. They all contain just junk information here, except for this one. This one actually contains some credentials. Um, and this is common. I mean, you know, back in my sysadmin days, I'd copy a password, I'd throw it into a notepad, and then I'd use it a few times, and then I would remove it. I never wrote it to disk, or at least I never intended to. But what's going on behind the scenes that you just don't realize is it is getting written to disk with notepad plus plus so let's just instead of going this let's just do app data when you go into roaming inside of notepad plus plus there's this backup folder and all of these are actually being written like i'm going to close that out these are all still here even though notepad plus plus is no longer running and i can just come in and open these with notepad and there it is that's exactly what i had remember number four Boom, we've got passwords. So just say that I had a you know a PowerShell. It's a reverse shell, hacked into this box using whatever method I want to use. Now that I have access to it, I could literally just come in here and I can just type out the contents of any of these files and I can read them. And I don't know, I mean, again, super stupid simple what I'm talking about. It's not groundbreaking research. You may already know this, but if you don't, cool thing to add and i'm curious what other applications are just like this that are doing the same thing i kind of feel like if this isn't already something that's in something like WinPs, it should be anyway that's it guys quick video tell me what you thought about this i'll see you next time